I'm Jason Hurst, who has the need for speed. You better lace up those sneakers. It was a busy day of cross-country meets. Conference championships taking place throughout southern Illinois. Hey, we made stops in Decoin and Murfreesboro. So here we go. The boys' Ohio division off and running. Benton has been the team to beat all year long. Yesterday was no different. Everyone chasing Reese Johnson and Gavin Genesio. It was the senior Johnson who wins the race, finished with a time of 16.25, and I love this. Look at that. Yeah, has time to smile for the camera. Following Johnson is freshman Gavin Genesio, placing second at 16.44, and I love the moxie. Here we go. Flex those muscles. And here come their teammates, Chase Owens and Parker Sievenking, for fourth and third, respectively. Now, Ruben Pullen gives Heron a top five finish. Benton had five of the top six finishers, and having that push from Gavin is exactly what Reese needed this year. It definitely is, and it's just a totally different mindset to have somebody that I can run with every single day. It, it's just different, and it's made me better. I know it has, and I, I hope it's made him better, but he's going to be – he's got a chance to be the, the best runner in the state here coming up in the next three years. I, I'd watch out for him, yeah. More from Murfreesboro, Ohio Division Girls Race. Massac County's Ansley Bailey out in front early. Kind of widening the space right there between the other runners. But look at this. Harrisburg coach Chuck Ingram. Been coaching 64 years, 52 in cross country. He's 85 years young. Looking good, coach. And the course, it was a little confusing. Bailey way out in front. She wasn't sure which way to go. Ben would win as a team. Maya Willis finished second. Right behind her was Haley Wallace for third. Murphy's Caden Gilmore sprints home for third. And despite the confusion, Bailey is your winner with a time of 18.39. Honestly, really happy with my time. It's a little kind of slow, but it's in the 18s because last time I ran a 21 here, and I told a coach at practice I wanted to get in the 18s, and I did, so I'm really impressed with my time. Well, I honestly felt lost the whole time, and I was like, I just – got to follow the white lines and if I see someone walking I'm going to have to ask them who it was even though it might be a little bit embarrassing if, if it's going to help me I'm going to ask them. In DeCoin River to River Mississippi Division a mad rush to the finish. Pinckneyville boys continue their domination. Fifth title in six years. Isaac Teal the freshman taking the win at a time of 1542. On his heels was DeCoin's Landon Swin for second and then here come the Panthers. Stephen Hurt Dylan Bledsoe and Daniel Garavaglia to round out the top five. Staying in DeCoin, how about the girls? And the Indians take home the title. They were led by Olivia Phillips. She wins her seventh straight race. Congrats to her. And then Lauren Heap and Jacqueline Crane give the Indians a one, two, three finish. So again, congrats to all of our runners. How about we move on over to the South Seven? Marion boys get the team win, but Carbondale gets the 1-2 finish. Alex Partlow and Tucker Posher, respectively. Marion's Dylan Nally finished third. Carbondale girls win their fourth straight title, led by conference champ Madeline Perdoe.